Woods, and joining me are four experts, Tim McClure, Dr. Marilyn Hustis, Dr. Kevin Sabet, and Steve Talpins. And we're going to discuss a couple of things here. Let's talk about research, Marilyn in specific, regarding drug driving. Where is it headed? So we have three different types of research. Generally, the epidemiological research, which is like your roadside survey that we have been discussing, um, the monitoring the future study, uh, the fatality reports and the presence of drugs, that's one area. We have laboratory testing, which is the kind of work I do, where we actually give drugs to drug users and then we monitor everything, their physiological response, their effects on the brain, their ability to balance, uh, time estimation, things like that. They're also on the road studies in the Netherlands. They actually give drugs and in a very sophisticated car with good safety controls, allow them to drive on the roads. And they're driving simulators like at the University of Iowa that has the most advanced driving simulator in the world. And we're doing a study now, the first study ever of the effects of, on driving performance of marijuana smoking. So there's all these different types that have to do with the effects of the drugs on the body. Mm -hmm. And then we're also doing a lot of research on what's the best way to measure um, whether someone has drugs on board. And so these tests need to be able to be done by a police officer at the well, roadside. Exactly. Now, Tim, how can you use this research? It would actually help us out a bunch um, to be able to educate officers who are so used to just to looking at somebody driving on the impairment based off of smell. You know, a lot of times when somebody gets stopped for driving on the influence of alcohol, an officer based some of that knowledge based off the smell of alcohol. So if we have some other indicators that officers can see and that they don't need any special training like the DRE training for, you know, three weeks or, or more, that they could start start putting some indicators together and be able to use that for their, their judgments. And how is this research beneficial in the courtroom, Steve? Well, uh, the better understanding the officers have about the impact of drugs on people, the better their testimony is going to be, the more confident they're, they're going to be, and the easier it is for us to explain to jurors about what happened. But one thing I do want to say about research, and, and I agree, research needs to be conducted. The more research we have, the better off we all are. But we deal with this problem in courtrooms across America each and every day. So we can't just sit back and wait for the research to occur. While it's occurring, we're still dealing with these, these offenders every day. Every day, people's mm -hmm. lives are being affected. So we can't just say we're going to do research and nothing else. We're basically trying to work as many different fronts mm -hmm. as possible. We're educating the public, we're doing the research, we're enforcing the laws, and we're prosecuting the cases. All those things have to take place simultaneously. Right, and the research informs policy. And luckily, we have some good research indicators today showing that this is a major problem uh, and showing uh, the kinds of drugs that we're dealing with. Um, one of the things we were trying to do and we, we are going to be doing is the roadside survey, which is a nationally representative survey of looking at nighttime weekend drivers, usually occurs once every 10 years. It's a very exhaustive, it's time consuming, it's expensive. We're actually going to be, um, we, we now have plans to lower that window to about six or seven years to be able to give us a much better indication. We can also tack on questions on existing surveys of young people to ask them about their driving behavior under the influence of drugs. So there are many things that we can do. There are a lot that we're doing today. Um, we think that we have enough even right now for, for action on this issue. Very good, thank you very much. I'm Stan Rhodes, thanks for watching. If you would like more information, you can go online to www.mctft.com.